So now let's take another look at our website, but now with this custom component actually enabled, and we'll see the difference. So our main corporate website doesn't look any different because not, we didn't do any anything different here, no changes. But if we switch to our Danish website, you can see it looks almost exactly the same as the corporate website, but we can see that partial translation now in place. We can see the title of the home page is getting out in Danish. We can see uh, still see some English content as a body text. The main navigation is getting translated. So you can see the full fallback here, field-based fallback, I should say, working here normally. And this is smooth and transparent to the users, really. Of course, in reality, you would want to enforce and make sure that all content fields are getting translated, but this is just an example, and this is just a demonstration. Now let's take a look at our Japanese website. You can see as I switched immediately we can tell the difference. Now all of our banners are in place, and notice I didn't do anything different. No other content is actually got created. So we still have some unique, uniquely translated Japanese sections, such as products, actually all these top level items but we didn't do anything with banners these are coming from our source US uh, content another thing that we experience here is no empty items are showing up appearing here in the sections the left nav and this main content area and that's thanks to that custom get item command that returns null instead of empty item 